Hello and welcome to another video on exterior angles and in this video we're going to attempt some problem solving style questions. So similar to questions that you might get in your exams. So there are 12 questions in total, I've got four on this page. So I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can have a go at these four first and then I'll go through the answers and you can use a calculator. So the first question, the diagram shows a regular non-agon and um, if you're not sure what a non-agon is, well you can just count the number of sides. So there are nine sides in a non-agon. We need to calculate x, so we need to calculate this angle which is one of the external angles of this non-agon. Now a key word here is the word regular. So it says in the question this is a regular non-agon and that means that each of the external angles is the same. Now, what we learned about in the last video was that the sum of external angles of any polygon is always 360 degrees. So we know that these nine external angles sum to 360 degrees. And because they're all the same, we can just divide 360 by the number of angles. And because we've got nine angles, we just do 360 divided by nine, and that gives us 40 degrees. So our answer is 40 degrees. Question two, the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 45 degrees. What is the size of one of its interior angles? Now there is a relationship between interior and exterior angles, and that is that they sum to 180 degrees. So for example, let's just draw a shape. Let's just imagine we've got a shape like this. Now our exterior angle is this one here. Our interior angle, well it's this one here. And you can see that they form a straight line so they have to sum to 180 degrees. So if the exterior angle, if this one here is 45 degrees, to calculate the interior angle, we just do 180 minus 45. And uh, I think I can do that in my head. That is 135 degrees. So that is my answer, 135 degrees. Question three, calculate x. So we've got a, a polygon here. How many angles have we got? One, two, three, four, five angles. We know that the sum of the exterior angles is 360 degrees. So what we can do is we can add up all of these ones that we know and then just subtract that from 360 degrees. So when we sum these angles together, we get 313 degrees. And now we can just take that away from 360 degrees and that gives us 47 degrees. That's my answer, 47 degrees. Question four, the diagram shows part of a regular polygon and its exterior angle, which we can see here is 15 degrees. How many sides does the polygon have? Well, we know this is a regular polygon, so all of the external angles are all gonna be 15 degrees. So I could draw them all in, so that would be 15 degrees. This one up here would be 15 degrees. This one down here would be 15 degrees. And what we also know is that when we sum them all together, we're going to get 360 degrees because we know that the sum of angles in any polygon is always 360 degrees. So to work out how many sides it's got, well, we could just do 15 plus 15 plus 15 until we get 360. Or we could just do 360 divided by 15. And uh, when I put that into the calculator, I get 24. So that means that there are 24 sides to this polygon. So another way of thinking about it is if I did 15 degrees plus 15 degrees 24 times, I will get to 360 degrees. So my answer is 24. So now we've gone through the first four questions. Hopefully you got on okay with that. So pause the video again and see if you can have a go at these next four questions. Okay, so question five, what is the exterior angle of a regular quadrilateral? Well, a, reg a quadrilateral has four sides. A regular quadrilateral, well, we know that all of the sides and the angles must be the same. So this is just another word for a square. Okay, so they're trying to trick you here. Um, by using some fancy language, but in essence what we've got is a square because a square has four sides Which is a quadrilateral and a regular quadrilateral all of the sides and all of the angles are equal So the exterior angle of a square. Well, it's just going to be this angle here, which we can see is going to be 90 degrees Okay, so my answer is 90 degrees Question six. I'm thinking of a regular polygon the interior angle is exactly half of the exterior angle. What polygon is it? Now, this sounds quite tricky. 
But one thing we know about interior and exterior angles is, is, is that they sum to 180 degrees. So let's draw a straight line to represent 180 degrees. And we know that the interior angle is exactly half of the exterior angle. So let's say that this here is my interior angle. And this here is my exterior angle. It's obviously not drawn to scale, but let's just say that this angle is half of this angle. Well, with that information, we can actually work out what these two angles are. So they need to sum to 180 degrees, and this one needs to be half of this one. Well, the only two numbers that work will be 60 degrees and 120 degrees. Notice 60 plus 120 is 180, and 60 is half of 120. So now we know the interior angle we can see which shape this is because it is a regular polygon. So if all of the sides are 60 degrees or all of the angles are 60 degrees, I should say, well, then this is just going to make up a triangle. So 60 degrees, if this is 60 degrees and this is 60 degrees, well, we can see that we have an equilateral triangle. So what polygon is it? Well, it is an equilateral, equilateral, hopefully I'm spelling that correctly, triangle equilateral triangle. Question seven, calculate the size of the exterior angle of a regular decagon. Okay, well, we know that the sum of exterior angles of any polygon sum to 360 degrees. And because we've got a regular decagon, we know that all of the angles are going to be the same and there's going to be 10 of them because a, uh, uh, a decagon has 10 sides. So to calculate what each one is, we can just do 360 divided by 10. That's a 10, not a 16, just to make that clear. And 360 divided by 10 is 36. So our answer is 36 degrees. Okay, question eight, calculate x. So we've been given a few angles here. Um, so we've got a quadrilateral. So I know that the sum of angles in this quadrilateral is 360 degrees. This angle here is the exterior angle, so the interior angle, well, that's going to be 180 minus 110, which is 70. Again, we can do the same thing here. 180 minus 85 is 95. We can do the same thing here. This is a right angle, so, well, that's going to be a right angle. And now we have three of the angles. We can calculate the missing one. So we just need to do 70 plus 95 plus 90. And I can probably do that in my head. 90 plus 70 is 160 plus 95 is 255 degrees. And now we can just take that away from 360. So 360 minus 255 and we get 105 degrees. So that is my answer, 105 degrees. OK, so now we've gone through the first eight questions. We've got the last four to go through. So for the last time, pause the video and have a go at these last four questions here. OK, so let's crack on with the answers. So question nine, explain why a regular polygon cannot have an exterior angle of 21 degrees. So remember, with exterior angles, they always sum to 360 degrees. So to work out the number of sides, what would we do? Well, we would do 360 divided by 21. Now, I don't know what that is. I will have to get the calculator out to, to do this. So 360 divided by 21, and we get 17.14, 17.14. I'm just rounding to two decimal places. And remember, this is the number of sides. So clearly we have a problem. You obviously cannot have a polygon with a decimal number of sides. So this is incorrect. This is not possible. You cannot have a polygon, a regular polygon with an exterior angle of 21 degrees because, let's just write in our answer, so because, uh, what should we say, because you do not get, do not get an integer, integer number, an integer number of sides okay i always find these questions quite tricky especially when you're asked to explain something um so you don't have to write this word for word as long as you get something similar and you sort of do a calculation to show that you don't get an integer number um that, that's absolutely fine okay question 10 
The diagram shows an isosceles trapezium. So first of all, let's just pause there. What do we mean by an isosceles trapezium? Well, we, hopefully you know what a trapezium is. And an isosceles trapezium, well, that's just these two sides here. So the non-parallel sides, they are equal. So if these two sides are equal, it means that these two angles will also be equal. So that is also 45 degrees. Okay, let's carry on with the question. Calculate the size of its largest exterior angle. So first of all, what are the exterior angles? Well, if we're starting, let's say we're starting in this position, so we're going along here, we've got this exterior angle here, which I can see is 135 degrees. If we carry on up here, you can see we've got this angle here. Now I'm not even going to calculate that because I can see that that's smaller than um, 135 because it's an acute angle. And then if I carry along down here, we've got this angle. And again, this is an acute angle. And then if we carry on down here, we've got this angle here. And I can see that this one is also going to be 135 degrees. So we've got two that are 135 degrees. So that is my answer. The largest one is going to be 135 degrees. Question 11. The exterior angle of a regular polygon with n number of sides is a decimal number. What is the smallest possible value of n? So we've, we've got a polygon with some number of sides. We don't know how many sides it's got, but the exterior angle is a decimal. So we need to work out what the smallest possible value of n is. Well, if we start with the smallest sort of possible number that you can think of, um, for a polygon, well that's going to be three sides. You cannot have a polygon with less than three sides, otherwise it's just a sort of, you know, it's just that basically. So in order to make a polygon, you need at least three sides. So if we have a three-sided polygon, what would the exterior angle be? Well, to work out the exterior angle, remember we just do 360 divided by the number of sides. So it would be 360 divided by 3, and that gives us 120 degrees. But remember, we're looking for one where we get a decimal number for the uh, exterior angle. So this clearly doesn't work. So if we had four sides, well, we're just going to do 360 divided by 4. That gives us 90 degrees. Again, we're not at a decimal answer yet, so we have to keep going. But this is just a trial and error sort of um, exercise, really. So five sides. It's going to be 360 divided by 5. Does that give us a decimal? Well, I already know it doesn't because 5 goes into 10. But let's just see what it is. 360 divided by 5. That is 72 degrees. 72 degrees. And now we've got 6 sides. 360 divided by 6. I know that's 60 degrees. And we keep going. 7. 7 might be promising. So 7 sides. 360 divided by 7. I've got a feeling this is going to work. And yes, it does. So we get 51.4. That is just rounding to one decimal place. 51.4 degrees are my external angles. Now, this is not my answer. If we read the question, it says, what is the smallest possible value of n? Well, n is the number of sides. So it is seven. So seven sides. We have a regular polygon with seven sides. Each of the exterior angles is a decimal answer. OK, the last question. I don't know if you're pleased or disappointed, but um, let's just go with it. So the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 18 degrees. What is the sum of its internal angles? OK, so there's quite a lot in this question, but let's just go through it slowly. So the first statement says that the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 18 degrees. So we can work out how many sides it's got by doing 360 divided by 18. And I can see that that is 20. So we have a 20 sided polygon. Now, what is the sum of its internal angles? Well, the sum of its internal angles, there's a formula we can use to do that. Remember, whenever we've got a polygon to work out the sum of interior angles, we subtract two and then times it by 180. So if you're a bit unsure of why we do that, I do have a video dedicated to calculating the sum of in interior angles. I will leave a link in the video description for that. So 
I'll just write down the formula in its entirety. So we do the number of sides minus two, and then we multiply that by 180. Let's get the calculator out. That's just going to be 18 times 180, and we get 3,240 degrees. So that is my answer, 3,240 degrees. Now before I finish, I just want to go through this question again using a slightly different method. Because a lot of the time in maths, there's more than one way of getting to the answer. So we know that the exterior angle of the regular polygon is 18 degrees. So we can work out the interior angle just by subtracting this away from 180 degrees. So if we do 180 minus 18, well that will give us 162 degrees. So each interior angle is 162 degrees. And we know that there are 20 of them by this initial calculation here. There's 20 sides, so there's 20 angles. So to work out the sum of the interior angles, we can just multiply this by 20. So 162 degrees multiplied by 20. And indeed, we get the same answer as down here. We get 3,240 degrees. So this is what I love about maths, is that there's always more than one way of getting to the right answer. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully it was useful for you in your studies on interior and exterior angles. So thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care.